Life-saving HIV treatment. Three problems, one solution. The problem with monopolies. At the moment, if you invent a new drug, you get a 20-year patent. That's the exclusive right to make it free from competition for two decades. If only one company makes a specific medicine, they don't have to compete with anyone for customers. And so they can charge whatever price they like. The prices charged for newly patented HIV medicines are very high, often over $5,000 per person per year. And most people in developing countries can't afford them. This means that people will die because they can't get the HIV drugs they need. Why there aren't enough HIV treatments suitable for children? Right now, research into new drugs is encouraged by the promise of big profits that can be made from selling the drugs once they are developed. But 90% of children with HIV live in sub-Saharan Africa. These two million children are never going to generate the big profits that would mean big investment in treatments for them. So right now, there aren't enough suitable drugs and half of these children won't live to see their second birthday. How tricky it is to get the right HIV treatments. HIV is a complicated condition and you need to take different drugs in combination to keep you healthy. Some treatments have been combined into a single easy to take pill, making sticking to your treatment plan and therefore staying healthy much easier. The World Health Organization is now recommending newer, more effective treatments. But these are made up of three different drugs from three different companies. So, if you want to develop a new pill that combines three drugs into one, you would have to work with at least three companies. even if negotiations go well with two of the companies. The third company can refuse. And the whole process stops. There is a solution. Here's how a patent pool could work. Companies give their HIV patents to an independent organization called a patent pool. The pool then acts like a one-stop patent shop. Companies and researchers can access patents in exchange for a fair royalty payment to the inventors. Lots of manufacturers are given the right to make and sell the same drug in the developing world. That competition will bring prices down. And researchers can apply to use the patents from the pool to develop new child-friendly drugs. And because all the patents are held in one place, it is much easier for essential new combined pills to be created. Everybody wins. Drug inventors get rewarded. And millions of people across the world get the better, cheaper HIV drugs they need. <laughs>